advice, an Arab. And I called him and said, can I speak with you? He was the head of the Arab group. So he said, from where did your father be born? That's what he spoke. I said, Lebanon. He says, you are an Arab? That's what he spoke. I said, air. Air means yes, in Arabic. I speak a little bit of many different languages. I'm not an Arab. So he said, come and saw me. He's come to see me. So I came to see him, see him and he set aside time for me, and he said, you believe the world here down? I said, yes. Well, that means in his cousin, it can't be. So he held his hands up like this. He said, he pointed to his head to show me how smart he was. Then he said, if the world here down, man fold me down here. All the water, he fold me down from the round world. He has to be flat to make the water not fold me down. So I knew here's a guy I'm dealing with that is really sincere and he couldn't understand the earth being round. So I gave him a balloon to hold in his hand and I rubbed it fast with fur. Then I put cornflakes in his hand and told him to hold it away from the balloon, not near it. And all the cornflakes, due to electrostatics, jumped up to the balloon. Does anybody doesn't understand that? If you charge a balloon with great static electricity, the cornflakes in your hand will jump up to the balloon and stick to it. So I showed him that, and his jaw hit the paper. He said, world he imagine it? I said, air. Ah! <laughs> and he went and explained that to all the Arabs. An hour and a half, I turned him around. Now, even my mother, I brought a Japanese book home one day, and she said, I don't want that kind around loud enough for him to hear. And I met him in California. I hadn't been home a long time. So he left. This is our Sia job. He was in America, born. And uh, I tried reason on my mother, which is said, try to sit and reason together. That's strictly bullshit. If my mother doesn't read and deal with the real world, she can't handle that. So reason failed. They always told me in all books, let us sit and reason together. You can't reason with a person that knows nothing. So I said, boy, if you can't get to your mother's job, you're not going to change the world. So I made up a story. I said, I was swimming in the East River, and there's no way to get ashore. There's a high wall. And the Sato Takashiki worked on a boat, and he threw a life raft to me. My mother said, oh my God, you mean he saved your life? And yet, no, I've been so cool and improved. I said, yes, you have. <laughs> I said, please, ask him to come back for dinner. I want to beg forgiveness. He saved your life. Oh, my God, I've been so wrong. I said, well, I don't know if he'll come back now. The reason I said that, I well, want my mother to plead with me. So she's pleading, please, please, ask him to come back. I feel terrible. So I called Miss Otto and said, told him about the false story of him saving my life. And I said, when you walk in the door, my mother's going to hug you and kiss you, because that's the way she was brought up. So at dinner, she was really talking to him. So I walked out of the room, and I came back when Masato went to the washroom. I said, Mother, what do you think? She said, you know, he's just like you and I, has a wonderful family in Japan. So I went like that. <laughs> he said, you shouldn't do that, he saved your life. He's a member of the R.O.A. He's a member of the R.O.A. And you know they're sneaky. I said, not Masato, she said. He's a good boy. And after a month, she puts her arm around Masato. She really likes him and calls him son. Once that was established, said, mother, he never saved my life. <laughs> she said, you mean the devil? I would have never opened the door either. So sometimes logic and reason doesn't work for some people. So you tell them a fib, get them to listen to the guy for a little while, and then you can tell them that you had to do that because you couldn't understand it any other way. Now one person, did you love your mother? I used to say in some areas, other areas not at all. So love is not a constant, it fluctuates up and down. Once you understand that, you'll understand that sometimes you love your boyfriend, sometimes not at all, sometimes you hate him, sometimes you like him very much. Love is a fluctuating system, not a constant.
That's why you get disappointed. People get married, they scratch their head, they come with me to me. I don't know if I really love my husband. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Same with yourself. Sometimes you like what you do, sometimes you I should have done this, I should have done that. So if you were the duplicate of yourself in the same room, the question is how long will you be together? You know what I mean? So we are not sane enough yet. We live in the early stages of civilization. We are not civilized yet. If we were, there wouldn't be prisons, police, war, warships, bombers. Do you understand that? That's what I mean by we're not civilized. To become civilized takes a long time, and it's stage by stage. There's no final frontiers. So if you say, well, I know an intelligent person, an intelligent electrical engineer of 75 years ago couldn't get a job today. So what you call intelligent today is a jackass, as a rule, that matches the value system they gave you. There are very few intelligent people in the world that have methods of solving problems. We live on the backs of probably no more than 50 people that gave us electric lights, heating systems, power generation. It isn't the whole world that you have to convince. All it takes is 7,000 people to operate everything on Earth. You don't need millions of people agreeing with you. Who the hell do you think runs corporations? Very few people. I'm sorry again, but that's the way it is. All I can say now is, Thank you for attending. Do what you can. Right. I, I, I just wanted to mention that if you're interested in helping, especially in the UK here, there's a fantastic Zygotes movement group here. Um, Andrew and Heather and Tom and others. So you can uh, get check out check out the, the UK project dot com. Okay, they're running. Good. We still have 25 minutes. Once we have discussed it. Oh, no, it's a Zygotes movement, UK project.com. Yeah, sorry, back to my question. Is how would you uh, change designers' education to drive them in the direction of the Venus project? How would you change education to drive them in the direction of the Venus project? You never give kids grades. If you do that, is that not an A, is that a failure? You build jealousy and anger. So our schools do not use words that they've learned thousands of years ago, like that's wrong. That's wrong, doesn't tell anybody anything. But if you say, if a kid spells cat with a K, if you say very close, it's just one letter with a K, don't say that's wrong. No, but I mean specifically in designing. I didn't get that. In designing? In designing, yes. How should designers be educated? Not general education. In design, how would designers be educated? Depends if they're into design. Are you an industrial designer yes, or fabric yes. designer? Industrial. Industrial. Industrial design will be based, the teaching of industrial design, on minimum waste of resources. Never design products that wear out and break down. Do the best you can. An old Volkswagen, if you drive an old Volkswagen and I drive a Mercedes, if your brakes fail, I die. So there are no old cars on the road. They weigh as much as a new car. So everybody, do not, you don't own anything in the future. The cars are lined up for your use. You have access to cars, sailboats, but you don't own anything. You live in a house as long as you like to. You can make a painting, but you can't sell it. You can give it to people. So when you do away with ownership, and people have access to the necessities of life without servitude, then you have the beginning of the civilized world. You don't have that yet. Hello. Hello. Uh, I always find myself reading articles about a scientist finding genes that may affect our personality. Yeah. Is this bullshit or do our genes get affected by our environment? How do you, what's your opinion on that? About genes. You know, they're trying to hang everything on genes today. In, in the United States, they're looking for the Democratic gene, the gay gene, <laughs> the Republican gene. And it, it's really the environment that shapes behavior. It does, it, it, you're not born with bigotry and prejudice and hatred and, and a propensity to any type of bad.